Hello everyone, today we'll be creating tab menu on using Visual Basic 6. I'm going to put you through the steps on how to do this big boy. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to change the color of my form to say green. I don't know why I chose green, but I kind of like this shade of green. Maybe not. I just take it back to the way it was. All right, here's our form. Now to add the menu, you come to this guy here. This is your menu editor. Click on it. You have this small window pop pop up. On caption, you type the name of the menu you want, which is this one. So we'll start with the file. Type file. You come down to name and give it its property name. Let's say MNU MNU file. When you click OK, you have it here. And this is the name MNU file. Now let's add others too. Come down. Okay, we have this one. We want to add another one when you press enter it will take you to the next line I have edit MNU edit then we have view and MNU view we have projects MNU project. We have formats. MNU formats. We have debug. MNU debug. We have run. MNU run. We have query, menu query, we have diagram, MNU diagram, tools, menu tools, I have add ins. menu add-ins we have windows window menu window then we have help menu help and then ok Sorry, the name here it's not supposed to be so I'll just remove the hyphen and put use underscore now this is our tab oh my god do we really have is this really our tab yes this is our tab yep exactly this is our form we have this drop down oh don't worry about it we can create this as well on that menu we have new projects we have open projects it's not a big deal click here on that file we have file here just click on this arrow here no, not there Click insert first. Not insert, delete. You go to edit, click insert. The reason why you go to edit before clicking insert is if you are on file and you click insert, it's going to move file downwards 
giving you a space above file and you can't leave an empty space so you go to edit it will move edit downwards giving you an empty space above it now above this guy this is where you click this arrow and then like we have new projects just type it in new projects click ok if you click here it, you have new project here let's run this and see this is our menu file new project exactly it's not difficult we have open project you can do that for all your menu go to edit again insert click this arrow again and you type it open projects okay if you click you have new project you have open project when you run your program you have new project you have open project now all your buttons are not configured so it's not going to show you anything actually you have to write the codes for all of them <coughs> now I'm going to show you how to create this type of arrow this type you have table when you hover over it you will have another say another options coming up by the right all right let's do that it's under edit table so we just come here we go to edit we're going to add only table to save time we won't use others all right now this same arrow you click click it twice then you type in the name of whatever you want to type in there let's say you have set table actually i can't remember what was there so i'm just going to use set table and you set and we have let's say we have view table view table and view view t and let's say we have delete table let's say we have cancel table does it we have it we have it all set up Let's run our program and see this is your file you have just one menu now this is the arrow and when you hover over it you have this I am not supposed to have any tab on the view table delete and cancel
Alright, that's it guys. That's how to create menu items on using Visual Basic. You can also color your table, your form without actually affecting the menu items. The menu will still be there. You can edit this at any time, change any of it just by clicking your menu editor and you set you change the property or the name and after doing that to write the code for it you don't have to double click on it just click on it once and it will open now if you remember we named it MNU format MNU everything the MNU is menu just for easy reference if another person wants to debug the code they will know this is for the menu item format that's why I use MNU not a must for you to use MNU thank you very much for watching thank you for your time don't forget to subscribe and share the video with your friends see you next time in the next tutorials ciao